Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make YouTube intros with Blender. Now people always ask me how to make really cool professional intros, so today I'm going to show you how to do that. Now you will need to download the program Blender, it's a free program and I'll show it right here on the screen. I'm going to put every link that I talk about in the description below so you can just check that out and make it really easy. So, Blender, it's a free program and that's how you'll make your intros. It allows you to do some really cool animation. So, Blender.org is the website. You're going to go over to where it says download and it's gonna show you the latest stable release. Right now we're at 2.74. You can just choose your operating system. I'm Windows, so I'll pick that, and then I'll hit 64-bit. I've already downloaded the program, but if you haven't, this is what you'd click, or if you're 32-bit, you'd click 32-bit, but 64-bit is what we'll be using today. So, after that, you will download Blender, and you will have this icon. This is what Blender looks like. If you open it up, this is what you'll see. This is what Blender looks like. It looks like an animation program, because that's what it is. At first it looks really complicated, but I'm going to show you how to use a template to make a really cool intro very easily. So let's close Blender right now, we'll open it up in a second, and we'll move on to the next step. So the next step is to look up different templates on YouTube. YouTube has so many templates online for Blender intros. As you can see, even searching Blender intro templates, you can see tons of videos on on different Blender templates, and then in the descriptions of each of those videos are many links two really cool intros. For example, here's one of the videos, top 60 Blender intro templates, number 53. This guy has a this guy has a ton of Blender intros and um, you can just take a look at them, choose the one you want. This is 10 minutes of different intros. You can kind of see. See there's just a ton of different intros, but for this video, we're going to pick number 31 just because that's the one that we'll be using today. I kind of like 31. You can kind of see what it'll look like. I think it looks pretty cool. So what you'll do once you choose your intro is you will go down to the description, click the link, download the media fire, uh, download the media fire download, and you will get this right here. This is what you'll get. I already downloaded it. This is what you'll get. It's the template. It's in Blender. You'll open it up. Blender will open up, and this is what you'll have. Instead of name, you literally can customize it to whatever you want. I'll show you how to change your font size and then render it, making it a really cool intro. So when you want to when you want to edit the name to whatever you want, what you'll do is you'll click on the word tab, press tab, and then just erase what you want. We'll just put test. And you can see it's two layers. For a 3D effect, I did two layers of words. So you'll press tab again, right click. You always want to right click, tab again, download it, I mean erase it, and then put in what you want to write. So there it is. We're just gonna do test. Now, say you want to increase the the text size, you'll go over to where it's this little F, F for font, and then you will go to size right here. Say we want to do 1.5. It's a little big. Let's do 1.4. Alright, that looks cool. And then you just have to do it to the other layer as well. So we'll right click on that one. 1.4. Boom. Now they're both the same size. Alright, so you can customize whatever you want. You can have your channel name, your actual name, whatever you want. Now the next step, say you're done and you want to render it and then you want to put it on your YouTube channel. You will click this little camera button right here. Click that. And this is where you choose where you want to output the video or I'll put the intro so I always do it to the desktop makes it really easy so you want to click desktop right here press accept and then the last step is go to render right here render animation click that and then it will start rendering now it does take a while this is the longest part but if you just do it right before going to bed and then wake up it'll be done it'll take about an hour and a half to two hours depending on how long the intro is and how many and how intricate it is. So I'm going to start again. I'm gonna start this video again when it is done rendering. All right, so the intro is now done. As you can see by the bottom, 250 out of 250, all frames have been rendered. You can now go to wherever you did the output and then check out your new intro. Here it is. I want to show you a few of the intros that I've made for some people. Here's the first one. These are just some intros that you could make with Blender just using templates online. One, two, three, oh. 
and the last one. And that is it. So once again, Blender.org, it's a great program if you're trying to make cool intros. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.